So what we did is we took each team and their success, how many games they won last season, okay? And then we factor in uh, pro football focus and their free agency grades for each team. We factored in pro football focus and their draft grades for each team. So if a team improved overall in the offseason, that increased their chances of winning a given game. If they didn't improve this offseason, that decreased their chances given uh, whichever game they're going to be playing and winning a game. So this was all put into a numeric value, a formula, and we put this all into an Excel sheet to simulate the NFL season to give you guys a concept and an idea of which teams are going to be making the postseason and which teams are not going to be making the NFL playoffs. We took every NFL team, right? Let me sort this in alphabetical order. You see the 49ers, Bears, all the way down to the Washington football team. We took which teams they're going to be playing, all 17 teams that they're going to be playing, and then we simulated which team was going to win. Before I get into this, don't get upset. Okay, this is just a very, very, very rough draft. This is all computer simulated. Okay, this is all based off of analytics. Okay, what this is missing is the human element to this. Okay, as far as we know, Patrick Mahomes might tear his ACL in week one. The Chiefs can go 0-17. We didn't want to factor in the human element into this. There's no way of doing that. So this is a very, very rough draft of what might happen this NFL season. So keep that in mind. This is not going to be 100% accurate. And if it is, I'm going to be very, very surprised. Okay. I'm going to laugh with you at this computer simulation because I'm like, uh, this team missed the playoffs. This team made the playoffs. Yeah, it's it doesn't make a lot of sense, but this is just based off of analytics. So let me go back to that schedule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and read off uh, not every NFL team, but uh, you're going to see that the games that they're playing against. So, for instance, the 49ers right here, you have them playing the Seattle Seahawks. That is highlighted green because both those games against the Seattle Seahawks, when we simulated it, supposedly the 49ers won both those games. The Seattle Seahawks had a higher chance of winning those games, but it was just the luck of the draw that the 49ers won those games and it's all a luck of the draw because every nfl season every given sunday as a matter of fact the upset team could win you never know there's always going to be two three four upsets every week in the nfl and that's why we love it so the 49ers that's going to be an upset right there so there's a lot of that okay so and a lot of division games as well were split as you can tell the Bengals upsetting the steelers uh but then also losing to the steelers there's a lot of division games that are tougher and closer in the nfl so that's the reason behind that. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to read off every NFL game. Okay. I'm not going to say who beat who, uh, you know, if you want to pause this at any point, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, go ahead, do it. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to sort this by their projected NFL record. Okay. So after simulating all of these games, who ended up with the best NFL record? And that is going to be the Arizona Cardinals ended up with the best NFL record. Now, the best record based off this computer simulation was just 12 and 5. You saw that the Indianapolis Colts, which Sean mentioned as a surprise team, could be another team that could end up going 12 and 5. The Patriots as well with all their offensive weapons. So, like I said, this takes into free agency and draft as well. And I believe that the uh, the Patriots got an A according to Pro Football Focus in the draft and an A in free agency as well. So that helped their chances of winning a lot of games. Uh, so I kind of put it side by side by their 2020 record and the difference of games that they're winning. So for instance, the biggest jump would probably be the Atlanta Falcons. This is all computer simulated, unbiased. They're going 10 and 7 as opposed to 4 and 12 last season. Uh, and then the biggest drop off, I believe, is the Pittsburgh Steelers, believe it or not. I know, I know. I It's luck of the draw. Okay, I necessarily don't agree with it, but... The Pittsburgh Steelers, 6-11, and 11, according to this computer simulation. So with all that said, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to show you, uh, as you guys are looking at the NFL records of each of these teams, I'm going to show you the NFL playoff picture based off of this computer simulation. So we go to the playoff picture, and what you have right here now is the NFC playoffs and the AFC playoffs. Starting off with the NFC playoffs, you've got uh, – 
the Arizona Cardinals being the number one seeded team. They got the first round by by winning the NFC West. The Buccaneers winning the South. Giants winning the East. They tied with the Dallas Cowboys. But I believe the Giants, uh, they might have split in the simulation or uh, something happened like to where I think it was the Giants had a better division record. That's what it was. Like the only loss was against the Dallas Cowboys. So they would eventually be the NFC East winners. Uh, the the Packers went in the NFC North, but look at the record right here, 9-8. and eight. And is that because of Aaron Rodgers, that pro football focus factored in the free agency game? Or is it because they just have a really, really tough schedule and the odds were up against them in winning these games? But nonetheless, they are NFC North champions and making it in as the number four seed. The Atlanta Falcons, a wild card team. The Cowboys, a wild card team. And the New Orleans Saints, a wild card team. So those are your top seven, since there are seven seeds in the NFL. Now, barely missing it, just by a game. You've got the Rams, the Vikings, the Seahawks, and the Washington football team. It was a four-way tie at that point, uh, but that's the order at that point. So it'd be surprising to see if the Seahawks miss the playoffs. The Rams as well. I would have figured that they put a lot of effort into their offense and uh, for them to miss it would be surprising, but hey, maybe these teams just surprise us. For instance, the Atlanta Falcons could be that surprise team uh, for the NFC playoffs. And then obviously you've got uh, the 49ers, the Bears missing it, eight and nine. Eagles seven and ten. The Lions six and eleven with Dan Campbell, and then the Panthers unfortunately go in five and twelve. AFC playoffs. Looking on the AFC side, this is where it's going to get a little bit surprising. You guys might laugh and dislike this video if you want. I don't care. The Colts got the first round by with the South. The Patriots won the AFC East at a 12-5 and record after uh, simulating this. The Browns, AFC North champions over the Pittsburgh Steelers, 11-6. and The Chargers over the Chiefs with Justin Herbert and all of them winning the AFC West at 11-6. and Down below that, the fifth seed, wild card, the Chiefs still make it in. That's okay but they're going to be missing out on that division title. That doesn't matter that much because they're going to be facing the Chargers in the playoff race. Then you got the Titans making the wild card spot at 9-8, and eight, and the Denver Broncos, the surprise team, is going to be making the wild card at the seventh seed. So, okay, let's talk about that. Why are the Denver Broncos in at the number seven slot? Listen, that's because the grade that they got in free agency – was an A+. plus. The grade that they got in the draft, I think, was like an A- minus or A. The Miami Dolphins barely missed out. Talk about the teams that missed it. Now, here we go. Here we go. The Buffalo Bills, the ninth seed in the AFC playoff race. I don't necessarily agree with that, but when I simulated the games, if we want to go back to the Bills' schedule right here, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, where do we got the Bills? Right here. Okay. They lose to the Titans and upset loss to the Texans when I simulated it. Beat the Jaguars, obviously. Uh, the Steelers, they beat them. Washington football team, they lost to them. The Chiefs, they lost to them. So it's like some of them make sense, some of them don't. The Indianapolis Colts, they lost against, or they won against. The Saints, they beat. The Bucks, they lost against. The Falcons, they lost against. You know, you look at this schedule and it's like, okay, some of these games make a little bit of sense, some of these don't. But I believe when I was simulating these games, it was the Bills the Browns and the Chiefs, those three teams had the highest p probability of winning their games out of any NFL team. And it just so happened to be that the Bills got the short end of the stick. And even though they had one of the highest possibilities, probabilities, they lost. But going back to the playoff picture, yeah, the Bills, they lose out on that opportunity to make the playoff race. The Bengals, the Ravens, Raiders, all in a three-way tie to make it a 7-10. and 10. So they kind of improve with Joe Burrow. And the Cincinnati Bengals make it 7-10. and 10. The Ravens yeah, kind of fell off. I don't see John Harbaugh just because he's such a good coach getting this far or losing out to 7-10. and 10. But, hey, it could happen. The Steelers, that's also another big one. Mike Tomlin, I just don't envision that happening. Uh, so the Bills, the Ravens, the Steelers are the questionable ones at the AFC playoff race. Uh, the Jets, the Texans, the Jaguars, you see 2-15 and 15 is the worst record in the NFL. That makes a little bit more sense. They need a lot of help uh, on their roster. Now, here's the fun part. Let me full screen this. What we wanted to do with this was take every NFL playoff picture 
and simulate it if it were the NFL playoffs playing in January. So you're going to see some games being simulated, and we're going to give you an eventual Super Bowl winner, rough draft, by the way, of who's going to win in 2021. Let's go back. Playoff simulation. That's right. Okay, let me explain this because this is kind of hard to read right here. But you've got your NFC East, or not NFC East, but NFC teams in general highlighted in blue. You've got your AFC teams highlighted in red. So what we did is we took their opponents and who they're going to be playing. So for instance, the Buccaneers being the number two seed, we're going to be playing the New Orleans Saints, who are the number seven team. So we put them against the Saints. The Saints beat the Buccaneers in our simulation. So we highlighted under the Buccaneers, we highlighted them red, and there's no advancement, as you can see, moving forward from that point. And the Buccaneers just stop right there, are eliminated in the wild card round. The Saints move on to the divisional. As you can see that the Buccaneers, their game is highlighted green. So with the NFC wildcard race, just continuing on with that, you have the Giants and the Cowboys facing. The Giants ended up losing to the Cowboys, and the Cowboys ended up advancing. And then the Falcons and the Packers faced off in a wildcard matchup, and the Packers won. So the Falcons' fairy tale NFC playoff appearance is over at that point. Going with the AFC, you've got the uh, Colts getting the first round by. So the Cardinals got the first round by for the NFC, by the way, just to preface. The Colts got the first round by. The Patriots and the Broncos faced off, all right? And the Patriots beat the Broncos, so the Broncos' fairy tale comes to an end against the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick and the Patriots move on to the divisional round. The Titans and the Browns faced off, and the Titans ended up beating the Browns. So the Titans move on. And then you have the Chiefs and the Chargers, AFC West matchup. Listen, the Chargers already got the upset and winning the division, and they're going to get the upset again and beating the Chiefs and moving on to the divisional round. So, divisional round, NFC. The Cardinals, number one seed, face the New Orleans Saints. When matched up against them, going through the computer, it ended up being the Cardinals that won, and the Saints were eliminated by the divisional round. Then with the Cowboys and the Packers, it ended up being the Packers lost to the Cowboys, surprisingly, and the Cowboys advanced to the NFC Championship to face the Arizona Cardinals. Now for the AFC, we got the Titans and the Chargers, or, or the Colts, the number one seed, facing the Titans, who they ended up losing to, and the Titans will advance. Now the Chargers will face the Patriots, and the Chargers ended up winning that matchup and the Patriots are eliminated. As you can see, it's highlighted red. So now the, a the AFC Championship is going to be between the Titans and the Chargers. Now, let's go back to the NFC Championships. Your final four at this point. Cowboys, Cardinals, Titans, Chargers. Between the Cowboys and the Cardinals, you see it's highlighted green. The Cardinals ended up winning that matchup. Let me go ahead and bring that over so you guys can see that easier. The Cardinals ended up winning that matchup in advance to the Super Bowl. Cowboys, as you can see, lost that matchup. AFC Championship, Titans and Chargers, Justin Herbert, Ryan Tannehill. The Titans ended up beating the Chargers and advancing to the Super Bowl. So now your Super Bowl it, that's going to be played in L.A. is going to be between the Titans and the Cardinals. NFC side, the Cardinals. AFC side, the Titans. And simulating that, your eventual Super Bowl winner, the Tennessee Titans. Hey, there's a lot of surprises in the simulation, but the Titans, if they ended up being the Cardinals, could be your Super Bowl champions according to this simulation. That kind of gives me hope because I picked up Madden again and I'm playing franchise mode and I'm taking over for the Tennessee Titans and trying to get to the Super Bowl. So if this is telling me anything, it means that my team is going to make the Super Bowl. But Mike Vrabel and Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry in that run game, that defense lost some good corners but they made up for it in the NFL draft. They could be making some strides in going to the Super Bowl. So leave your thoughts, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you feel like that the Titans and the Cardinals facing against each other is a realistic matchup for this Super Bowl. Could happen.